Here are the two chairs we have. They are very rusty and in need of paint. So they're like kind of like a retro, I don't know, maybe they're from, I have to look it up, maybe they're from like the 70s, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna paint them. Here is the before. Hey. So I ended up hosing it off and drying it with a towel. Some of it's still air drying a little bit. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I guess, trial run, try a coat and see how it goes. I kind of scrubbed out all the, all the paint that was like chipping off. So we're gonna see how that goes. It's pretty rusty. Or I'm gonna do key lime. I'm gonna put some gloves on too so I don't get paint all over my hands. You can see that the, looks like the arms of the chair was originally white and then the chair itself is green. But I'm not gonna try to tape off, you know, different sections. I'm just gonna do the whole thing one color just to keep it simple. Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Gloss Key Lime. That's what we're going for. So I have most of the first coat done. Um, there's a toddler. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's very bright and cheery. Definitely lime. So I thought that'd be fun, bright colors for what's happening out in the garden. But, um, still got to do around the bottom and then the back. And I'm probably going to do another coat. This is where all those rust flecks were. And you can still see it a little bit, but it's, it's still it's smooth. It's just kind of cracking a bit. So I'm gonna do as many coats as I can until hopefully it covers it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want it to rust any further. But I think the color is really fun. All right, so I finished the one can that I have. I have another can, um, but I'm gonna let this dry. And I got most of the chair done. I did this back part here, but I need to still do the underside and then inside here. Hey. So that's what it looks like right now. Okay, so I need to do the underside. Here is the brand. Oops. Arvin metal furniture so that is the brand so I'm gonna go ahead and hey little guy chase baby is running off I'm gonna go ahead and get this side going this is the second chair I just got through hosing it off and I need to dry it down a lot of rust this one doesn't have as much peeling down here. So there's this rusty one. There's the one we've already done that's over there in the sun. So that's the finished one. I'm going to do this one a different color though. So yep, that's the before. Okay, so I've used first can for the second one. This one I'm doing Jade is the color. Same brand, Rust-Oleum Gloss Jade. I really like this color. I think it's such a pretty festive color. Um, so yeah, I've got most of it done. That was one, um, one um, spray bottle our spray can. I have to do more on the back. I kind of ran out because I think I'm, I'm needing to use a little bit more on this one because it's orange in the background versus the green one that I painted over there that was lime or that is lime green. It was green before. So this is the orange one. Um, but I really like this color a lot. So that is what this one is turning out like. Okay, so this time around, there's the brand. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the, it up with the painter's tape. 
I wish I would have done that on the other one. But um, I looked up this brand online and it turns out that these chairs are from the 40s and not the 70s like I thought. So, and they were only making them for a very short period of time before World War II and then they stopped making them because of the metal. So, yeah, I wish I would have taped it off on the first one, but oh well, I'm going to do it this time. So now I'm going to cover all this rust up. Probably going to do a um, couple coats. Okay, I peeled off the tape and the label is still intact. You can kind of see a little of the orange around the outside, but I don't really care. I wish I did this on the other chair, but that's okay. So that worked well. Okay, so here are the finished chairs. They look a lot better. No more rust. And they'll be protected from the rust now. I really like that color, the teal. Um, so, again, this one I used Rust-Oleum gloss in jade and this one is same brand but key lime they turned out really nice and festive um, I think that maybe if I feel ambitious I want to eventually do some type of painting on the backs of the chairs maybe like some flowers or some type of detail what are you running off to? Where's Chase? Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, my only regret is not taping off the label on this one, but I did it on that one, so. Oh well. But that's what they look like, and I'll do an update if I end up doing some detail on the, um, the chairs.